guys, welcome to my very first Q and A video. First of all, it's so freaking hot. Let's make something to drink. Thank you. Okay, today morning I posted a question in Instagram and YouTube asking what are the things that you are curious if I were to do a Q&A. So we are going to do this video combining both the questions that I got from Instagram as well as YouTube. So First, let me make a self introduction. My name is Jatrika and I am 16. I am a speed reader in Kerala. that I just made sounds like this piece that I did in second grade so first question is your ninth percentage so as you all know I am a state grader so we don't have that much importance for percentage but as far as I know I have 96 percentage in ninth grade this best YouTube teacher for maths and science she is a CBSE grader, so I might not be the best person to suggest that, but still, I'll suggest PW because I watched many of their classes, so I'll suggest PW's classes. Hacks for 10th graders. Okay, the main agenda of this video is to share that with you guys. Okay, let's talk about new 10th graders. So, what I want you to know is that don't push yourself too much at this moment. That is because in the month of January, February and March, you will need a lot of energy. So in the beginning stage, you have to run slowly. What you have to focus on is to be consistent and to be disciplined. And one thing that I want to make clear is that the number of hours that you study is not important. And I get a lot of questions asking how many hours I study. But let me be honest here, in the beginning stage of 10th grade, I didn't study much like uh, I studied daily, like almost daily. I made sure to study one hour at least, at least. But most of the days it was like two hours. So mostly in the beginning when I studied was in the morning. If you are a morning person, be sure to study one hour in the morning and if you have any school works, you have to give separate time to it also. So that will be like a total of three hours or something including work or else you have to study only one or two hours. That's what I did at least. In the month of January, February, I studied six hours on average. How to take proper notes. I'll make a video on that again. I have two videos on that topic in my channel already and next question is how to manage YT video making plus studies most of the time I really have hard time maintaining both of them together but I just try to upload on some days I'm really motivated to upload but on other days I'm just I just need a very big push but most of the time, the person who pushes me is myself. What's the hardest subject in the 10th syllabus? Okay, hardest subjects. For me, in subjects, the hardest was definitely physics. Because I know all the concept, but it's hard for me to get marks in physics. How do you study maths? I've noticed that I've got this comment a lot. And I'll definitely make a separate video about how to study maths. But okay, when you're studying maths, it's really important that you know your level in maths. Like, are you good in it or are you average or are you pro? You are not good at it or average. It's really important that you know your level. While knowing that, you have to prepare for the next step. Definitely not a subject that you have to learn like biology or chemistry or not even physics you have to try to understand where did you make mistake and you have to work on that area specifically and it's really important in maths that you do previous year questions that not only applies to maths after studying each and every subject be sure to do pyq questions 
What is your least favorite subject? I would have said Malayalam if you asked me last year, but it is not the case this year. That was because I had a, a really great fear for Malayalam because I wasn't good at it. I mean, in writing. Ah, oh, by the way, if you are curious, I haven't received my first payment from YouTube yet. Yet, but I have got accepted into YouTube Partnership Program. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite subject? For me, it's English. For you, it's English. For me, it's English as well. I like English really much. And I and if we are talking about subjects, then I like um, I like maths. I mean, that's absurd, but still, I like maths. Uh, I'm not the best in maths, but I'm not the worst either. some of your book recommendations okay book recommendations mm. my current read is sapiens and that is a book that i really love okay next question books in your bucket list between love your videos thank you for loving my videos mm. and the books i really want to read that book called steel like an art and what else i wanted to read haunting adeline but it is so dark why but let's see and there is a book called defy the night i want to read that too and another book is that um, one of chetan bhagat's book called uh, one night at a call center or something more about you like hobbies and you are a bts k pop stan more about my hobbies uh I like to listen to music that is pretty much my hobby and I like to make videos too and I like to edit you know and I like to cook yes I really love to cook I mean cooking just makes me feel better but during boats I cooked I cooked so many times because it relieves my stress too I love cooking tuition silathil aano poye adine korche parayam so ഞാൻ ട്യൂഷൻ പോയത് സൈലത്തിൽ തന്നെയാണ് ആൻഡ് ഇഫ് ഐ വോട്ട് ടോക്ക് അബൌട്ട് ദാറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് വാസ് എ ഗുഡ് എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് ആൻഡ് അബൌട്ട് ദി ക്വാളിറ്റി ഓഫ് ക്ലാസ്സസ് ദ ക്ലാസ്സസ് വർ റിയലി ഗുഡ് ഐ മീൻ ദി ടീച്ചേഴ്സ് ആർ ഗുഡ് ആൻഡ് അബൌട്ട് ദി സെൻറ്റേഴ്സ് ഐ ഹാവ് ടു ടോക്ക് അബൌട്ട് ദാറ്റ് ദസ് സൈലം ഓഫ്ലൈൻ സെൻറ്റേഴ്സ് ആർ റിയലി റിയലി ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ ആൻഡ് ദി ക്ലൻലിനെസ് ആൻഡ് ദ ഫീച്ചേഴ്സ് and the way they take class with ipad connected to a projector and all i really loved it it was a good experience but there are some drawbacks too because you know when i joined silam tuition center they said that we will be able to use the silam app too along with offline tuition and till the end of this year they didn't provide us with the app and the second drawback was to it is not actually a drawback it's just something that i felt that the tuition center is really systematic it's only what i felt because that's mainly because you know how hard it is to maintain school and youtube along with that you have tuition too it's really really hard to maintain because every day i'll have tuition and if i don't have school then i'll have tuition on sunday and saturday full day that is really hard to you know go with because on sunday and saturday i have to edit videos along with that i have to go to tuition center it was a lot if you want to go it is a really nice opportunities because they teach really well there but if you are a self learner as far as from what i understood you don't have to go to tuition ചേച്ചി ട്യൂഷന് പോയിട്ടുണ്ടോ സോ ഞാൻ ട്യൂഷന് ഞാൻ ഇപ്പൊ പറഞ്ഞ പോലെ തന്നെ ട്യൂഷന് പോയിട്ടുണ്ട് സൈലത്തിലാണ് പോയത് സൈലം കൊയിലാണ്ടിൽ ഓഫ്ലൈൻ സെന്ററില് ആൻഡ് ഞാൻ ക്രിസ്മസ് എക്സാമിന്റെ തൊട്ട് മുന്നേ അതായത് ഒരു ഡിസംബർ ഫസ്റ്റിന് അതിന് തോന്നുന്നു ഞാൻ ക്വിറ്റ് ചെയ്തു ബിക്കോസ് ആസ് എ ടോൾഡ് ഇറ്റ് വാസ് റിയലി ഹാർട്ട് ഓ മെയിൻ ഡീൻ യൂട്യൂബ് ആൻഡ് സ്കൂൾ ആൻഡ് ട്യൂഷൻ yeah i have answered vacation plans okay let's talk about vacation plans actually while boards were going on i had a lot of plans to upload daily and all but i'll upload i'll i'll be consistent as much as possible but you know um when you are finally on vacation you just face to you tend to waste your days and all and i'm doing the same and i i after and i really want to uh travel somewhere but 
nobody is bringing me anywhere and nobody is inviting me to stay over at their place i really want to go to bangalore for vacation let's see if we will go or not but if i'm going i'll definitely definitely shoot a vlog because i want to show you around that you know no matter how many times i visited bangalore i love the place so so much you know bangalore is an emotional or something motivational okay getting back at you after after spending time doing nothing but right now what i want is some free time all to myself doing the things that i love the most and i get a lot of questions asking do you love studying i hate studying i mean who likes to study i mean yeah there are people who likes to study but i don't like studying but i like learning though i like to learn about things that i like but other than that i don't really enjoy studying but if you romanticize things you can definitely start enjoying it and if you are studying without enjoying it it will just feel like a chore and you know i was checking my comments on one of my videos in instagram and i found this one comment by a boy i was saying that i didn't even study much in 10th grade but i got more marks than you i was like should i care i mean it's it's fine you know that didn't piss me off but under that comment there was a comment by the same person that boys are better than girls okay next any tips for starting a new youtube channel like yours and initial stage my videos weren't that good It really makes you perfect not perfect but better is that uh, practice so what you have to do is to watch a lot of tutorials on youtube how to shoot how to edit and all and i'll say that one thing i'll say that is when you're starting out on your youtube journey don't buy out things like mic or tripod if you don't have anything to shoot with tripod is a good option but mic or something like that don't invest in it unless you start earning little bit from okay i am getting a call let me un uh, answer it here can you see i'm getting a call hello sunlight makes me really pretty uh, but the reason why i'm sitting in the sunlight burning here is not because i want to be pretty but my friend camera is not that good but if there is a lot of uh, sunlight coming from this direction the clarity is going to increase i am sitting here burning just because you will get a more quality video i just kidding but that was right though detailed video of your study tips methods etc study desk organization book organization okay about the desk organization let me make it clear to you guys i am going to do a room makeover like more like i will make more changes to my desk of course because there is that is where i fill most of the time but i am going to paint my room and i am going to clean and it's really exciting for me because i've been planning for this for the longest time and i'll definitely make a video on that and many people were asking me for a room tour video and that will come soon tips for productive study routine mm let me think about it first of all let me make this clear that many people think that being productive means doing a lot of things but that's not true being productive is more like doing things that has to be done right now it's you know if you're productive or not it doesn't depend on the number of things you do rather than it depends on you know just doing things it depends on just simply showing up on days that you didn't feel like showing up is not something that you can measure and next question your dream place to work I love that question. You know, there is this company called Goldman Sachs. I want to work there. Yesterday I posted a uh ask me anything on Instagram and there were a lot of question asking which stream I'll take. I will take commerce for class 11th and 12th. 
and i've been uh, waiting for this moment for the past 2 years what i am planning to do afterwards is i want to try ca but i'm not sure about it yet but once i start studying commerce i'll understand better what i want then i'll decide on if i should go for ca or not another thing that i have on mind is to become an investment manager i don't know many things about that but hmm, i want to look into that too but rather than one specific job what i am sure about is that i want to go into financial field i want to work in this certain area and i hope it won't change it haven't changed for the past one year so i hope it will not yeah. do you have grace mark yes i do have grace mark for little guides one thing that i want to say to you guys is grades doesn't define you and sometimes it's hard for me to believe that too but you know what that is true that is the truth grades doesn't define you what makes you better is if you work on yourself and that applies in every phase of your lives like um, throughout this journey of studying in school you have to work on yourself like your language skills speaking skills social skills and the uh, your uh, ability to organize a community or a number of people leadership quality like that skills you have to work on them i'll definitely suggest that you have to push out of your comfort zone i know how hard it is but you have to do it you'll only thank yourself later next question what you say i am go to 10th grade say something okay best of luck for your 10th grade journey please enjoy it as well don't only focus on studying it is a great place to make memories and i'm so glad actually i'm so glad that i made a lot of good memories in 10th grade along with studying like you know it just makes me so happy to look back on those days you know just like that be good mm, which app that you use to edit youtube video i usually edit in vn app that is pretty good for editing or oh, all my instagram videos and youtube videos were edited in that app what study methods are helpful for you okay i like uh, pomodoro which are longer like 15 minutes study 20 minute breaks 60 minutes study 30 minutes break that kind of thing i like but 15 minutes study and 10 minutes study is really good and it really worked for me during both the exam during sslc exam mm, i know it is pathetic for me to say that but it was pretty much all the other exams were easy for me but comparatively i had a little hard time during social exam that's only because i should have studied better but what i did was enough and i'm confident in my answers and that is enough i've done my best so end of discussion and what makes you productive favorite food favorite food i love chicken mandi that is my current favorite i love food and dessert i love da food in what phone are you using okay i use samsung galaxy f41 and this is a pretty good phone my phone is going to die let me be fast are you single yes i am single so that is the end of this video i hope that you enjoyed and i hope i could answer most of your questions but if you like watching my videos then it will be good if you share my videos and bye bye okay lastly i always wanted to say this signing off purple limbs